Tonight, proposed police reform in Alabama after a viral incident in Reform Alabama. Video shows a police officer tasing a man in handcuffs. It is one of several incidents that State Senator Marika Coleman says inspired her proposed bill, which would make it illegal for police to tase suspects who no longer pose a threat. Oh, yeah. I'm saying what you saying? Oh, yeah, for. I'm not. Oh, my God. 24-year-old Michael Washington says he still can't believe what happened to him on December 7th when his brother captured this video of a female police officer tasing him while he was handcuffed, laying across the hood of a car, screaming out in pain. Oh, my God! Okay, 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 I'm done! That video really traumatized him for real. Like, I can't watch that video. Like, I don't even like to really think about it. And as we watched, the young man was complying. He was no longer a threat. He was in restraints on the back of a vehicle and he was still further tased. And so that behavior should not happen. Legislation Senator Marika Coleman plans on pre-filing for the upcoming legislative session would make it a felony for officers to tase restrained suspects. If a district attorney decides to um, take this matter on, it would make it a class C felony for an officer to use a taser on an individual who is in restraints and also poses no further threat. Coleman says it's not meant as an attack on law enforcement. We need folks that are there to protect and serve, um, but we also need to have the tools to be able to reprimand um, and punish those bad apples that use that, uh, that position as a police officer um, you know, wrongly. Coleman says she'll be consulting with law enforcement associations and the district attorney association, but will still propose the legislation even if there is opposition to it. So if this is an issue that folks are concerned about, care about, please let their legislators know that they want a piece of legislation passed that prevents law enforcement officers from tasing um, individuals while they were restrained and no longer pose a threat. Another bill Coleman plans to introduce would give people a route in civil court to proceed against officers who tase restrained suspects.